Hello everyone, my name is Jerry Riar and welcome back to Final Fantasy. Alright, so last time we finished off this water temple. But I'm told there's another small temple nearby that we have to go to first. Uh -uh. So this might look just like a normal waterfall, but in actuality, it's a whole nother dungeon. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot I was on auto. Fight's getting here. Yeah, so I'm gonna take my time and explore some of this dungeon. I don't think there's much to it, other than the item I, that you collect at the end. Alright, so we finally found a door. So let's see. There's always something blocking the door. I hope you guys at least kill two of them. Good. Uh, just do a... I really, I forgot to rest when I left town. So all of my spells are not, not at the fullest MP they could be. So, up to now, there was no doors or anything. Alright. So we got a mummy. Actually, no, you do a regular attack on him. You attack the mummy. You know if one of... Actually, we're gonna rest soon, so just destroy them all, guys. Yeah, like, I don't care what you do. Wreak Havoc. Alright, cool, so level up. Alright, now let's see what we get. I have been waiting. Take this cube. Tiamat Flying Fortress, please. Alright, so you obtain the warp cube. That's something about a flying fortress. Bzwert. Bzwert. I guess he's dead. Let's see, what's in all these money? Alright. Now, can we upgrade our stuff? 4574. Alright. 40 and 60? Nope. 2133? Nope. 1933. Yes, three more attack. Alright, so I guess we can leave now. I think I've searched a good bit of the cave and there doesn't seem to be anything in here. So, we'll head out and then since we have the Rosetta Stone, I guess we'll head to Lufenia. Try to talk to those people. Apparently, I still can't understand them in Lufenia, but as it was reminded to me, no, not there. There's someone in Melman who talked about. This one. Just a moment, let me see that tablet. Huh, this this is the Rosetta Stone. This makes it possible to decipher Lufenian. Yes, of course, that's what it, that was. It all makes sense. Here, allow me to express my gratitude by teaching you Lufenian. There, now you can speak Lufenian too. Alright, so now that we've learned Lufenian, we can finally head over there. We're the Lufenians, the descendants of the race that once lived among the clouds, the sky people. We use a vessel you call an airship. It was built by one of our ancestors, a man by the name of Sid. God, Final Fantasy lore, his, history, none of it makes any sense to me. Of the legend that has been passed down through. According to this legend, 400 years after the fall of civilization in the sky, 
warriors bearing light will come forth to save our people. The light bearers, then the legend is true. Um, and so that floats high above the clouds was once the home of our ancestors. The Mirage Tower is the gateway to that castle. I came to believe there was another entity controlling the four fiends. To ascertain its location, we sent out five warriors. Much time has passed since we heard from them. I hope no harm has befallen them. We placed our last hope in the five warriors we sent out. It's been said they fell victim to the curse of the fiends and were turned into bats. Hmm, I have not been talking to the bats. Tiamat blocks the power of wind, the source of the sky people's strength. Before you leave, Legend or Warrior, take this child with you. I'll grant you a passage into the Mirage Tower. Alright, so I'm thinking this is what we needed. Um, we show our lives with the Tiamat, the Fiend of Wind, but our power was not enough. And I talked to you. Alright, so I talked to everyone on this side. Beyond the skies we reach, however, that is not but history now. Flynn Castle floats on a blue sea of... S eh. Class 2. Guy people would pass on their memories from one generation to the next, but 400 years ago, a long time, and those memories have begun to fade. Could the mechanical beings our ancestors created still function? Alright, so we're off to the desert now. Because we got a bell. I'm assuming this will let us into the dungeon that's there. Alright, so we made it to the tower. Ooh, Black Knight and Nightmare. Throw us up just to protect, because I don't like the look of these guys. And then, yeah, just do a fire guy. Okay, 48's not terrible. Top two guys should each take out this these two. Yeah. I feared any attack would probably take them out, but especially from my top two guys. Uh, I don't like all these Medusas. Yeah, we have to take them out before they can turn us to stone. Because that's just a whole issue. We all get turned to stone. Hmm, it's a lot of overkill. That saber tooth. All right, now let's get some treasures. I hope none of them have monsters. Ah, uh, I'll just collect all these and then. weren't that strong. Alright. Money, a shield. We'll grab this and then we'll see if we can equip anything. Alright, so 4674? No. 
2161. No. 2133. Nope. 2233. Nothing. Dang. That sucks. I'm assuming I can just like walk over these things. That's about what I figured. Um, do you say a thing? Master, we have waited so long. I couldn't get up onto these things above me. Which is weird because I thought they were teleporters, but... Is there something on the outside? No? Huh. I don't know what I could be missing. I forgot that I could see that step on the other side. So it's not... I should have known exactly how to go. Getting... I wonder if those little teleporting looking things at the top, if that's like the return path. Like I can teleport to them at some point. But we'll see. So we got another spire to make our way around. Oh, I th thought it was going to be tougher since there was just one of them. Um. Oh, fire must... When I th saw the Chimera, I thought of fire. But I guess I was thinking they could deal fire, not be weak into. some more chests. Do some damage to undead people and just attack that mummy. Can the Pyrolisk... They can probably turn me to stone, can't they? Because they kind of sound like Obelisk. Fire. So fire... Stone. I don't know. I don't think that's the right connecting names. Thor's hammer. Uh, equipment. Forty-six. Oh, a little stronger. 4160, okay, a little one stronger. Ooh, ooh, you can use Thor's hammer. That's interesting. And uh, nothing for you. I'm just curious, can you use Thor's hammer? And it doesn't show up. Does anyone need health besides my last guy? No, just him. How about Kira? Alright. 
guessing I have to go out the other door. Wait, attack. That kind of attack. Man, if you guys could just be quicker, I wouldn't have to heal. Oh, yeah, that's a good bit of damage. Did he flee or did he just get murdered? Agility up a little, stamina up a little. Our friend left on a journey to the west. He took the warp cube and went to see our master. Alright, um. What? A wyvern shouldn't be an issue. Fight. Yeah. Are you any harder than all the other blue dragons I thought? No. Use the warp cube to travel beyond the sky. It will take you to the flying fortress. Alright. Alright, so we're in the flying fortress. But I think. Oh wow, we've only been going six minutes. Yeah, it's a little short. We'll go a little further. Achievement, Adventurous Wayfarer. Uh, nope. Equipment. Optimize. Optimize. Nope. I guess no one can use that razor. It's not Occam's. gonna do a big heal just to make sure everyone's fine cuz yeah Morgan can use about 200 health glitz can use 200 S Saren can use 400 yeah everyone needs health
lot of treasures in here. Honestly, I think that'll just doing the auto will work. Right, um, come on, no monsters. I don't need all this money. Never thought I'd say that. Like, I have so much more money than I need right now in the game. I have 583,000. So, like... Mm, I don't like you things. So, like, until I can... Learn a new level of spell... I don't need all this money. I think those guys are weak to magic, if I remember correctly. Okay, anything good here? Nope. Oh, they all have protect rings anyway. Alright, so let's head to the next floor. Ugh, evil eye. Everyone, yeah. to do for MP soon because kind of running low. Not not actually low, but low enough that it's something I need to consider. I guess any Medusa I should take out quickly and so they don't use gaze. Actually, I think I have the ability to heal any status affliction, so it might not be that big of an issue. I kind of wish I had just had like a repel item, something to give me some breathing room from all of these things. Alright, so I finally cleared out all those items. <sighs> Still more people. Please finish them off before you. Yes. I'm running low on spells. So we finished all of the second floor. So on to the third floor, which is also huge. Huh. You know, uh, I'm trying to think for how much stuff I have. Because I don't know if it's worth. What do you have to see? From this observation window, you can look out on the entire world. Okay. Well, that's. The four forces of earth, fire, earth, water, and wind appear as mist converging on a single point. Okay, a point at the center of the four altars. This must be the location of the Chaos Shrine. Well, yeah. 
we we knew the chaos shrine, right? So we still have to figure out where exactly the boss is, and then I think we can leave. I don't know if uh, I don't know because they told me where that I have to go to the Chaos Shrine because it's the center of all these. Alright, so this looks rather like the final final floor. If it's not the final floor, it's I'll show you the map whenever we get back out of this fight, but it's very here's a long skinny path with only one way to go forward. Oh, they did not die. Well, that's awkward. Oh, yeah, and Morgan's really close to leveling up, but let's just get... Okay. Just get right up in there. want to make sure because I guess I could have casted a stronger spell with Rico but it's oh wow that's a lot of damage anyway it's just that his magic did not kill anyone last time so I'm hesitant to use it I hope it I don't want to waste it, especially right before this fight. The Lich, Marilith, the Kraken. You have defeated three fiends and reached my lofty perch. Yep, this would not look like you're in a good spot. Oh, it's a Hydra. All the better. May the image of Tiamat, the Fiend of Wind, be the last to burn in your eyes. Easy attacks. Um, raise our defense. And then here. Just go for some ice damage. This uh, kind of hurt. Uh, yeah, so just another two attacks from you. Um, do Kurag, because oh wait, is that fully heals? Is that what I said? Oh, and cure some status effects. No, just do the a lot of health. And then maybe a Thundra. Pin him with Blizzard. It's my highest spell slot. Oh man, we do not do much physical damage. That's a problem. Alright, just you two keep attacking. Everyone looks like they have a good bit of health right now. So go for some holy damage. Bizarre. Curious how much health this thing has. I 
So yeah, just repeat that. How much damage does Holy do? Two seven. Yeah, so I think I need to keep those two doing spells. But you two need to do some curing. Oh yeah, I forgot that you can do spells and um, or attack. Yeah, just use that on yourself. Do some cast some holy damage. Another Zagra. Still, eh, ninety three is not terrible. Could be better, but but ultimately, you know. Okay, it's dead anyway. Doesn't matter how you did. All right, and Morgan levels up. For a little more stamina and luck. Alright, let's do whatever it is we do with these crystals exactly. Now all the crystals are lit. So we should just be able to leave. Oh, yep, winds caress. All right, so I guess now we head back to that um, cursed place, whatever it was called in in that first area. But uh, I, we're all out of time for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you in the next episode and possibly final. Bye bye.